Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are real numbers. Then the negative of a minus b is equal to b minus a. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to rely on some facts which come from the field properties of the real numbers, and also a definition for subtraction of two real numbers. So first, the definition we're going to use for subtraction is for any two real numbers, a and b, a minus b is defined to be a plus the negative of b. Now, from the field properties of the real numbers, some facts we're going to rely on include the commutative law, the third being the distributive law, the fourth being, for every real number x, negative 1 times x is equal to the negative of x. The fifth being, for every two real numbers, a and b, the negative of a times the negative of b is equal to a times b. And the sixth being, for every real number x, 1 times x is equal to x. Okay, so now let's get into the proof. Now, to start off the proof, let's give ourselves two arbitrary real numbers, a and b. And from here, we want to prove that this equality is true. So we're going to establish that this equality is true through a chain of equalities. So let me start out by writing the negative of a minus b. Now, from the definition of subtraction, we know that a minus b is equal to a plus the negative of b. Now we're going to apply fact number four, right? For every real number x, this is true. So if we call a plus negative b x, then we can apply this rule. Right, so just like that. Next, we're going to apply the distributive law, right? We're going to distribute the negative one across this parentheses. From fact number five, we know that negative one times negative b is equal to one times b. And for fact number six, we know that one times b is equal to b. From fact number four again, we know that negative one times a is equal to the negative of a. Next, we're going to apply the commutative law to swap negative a and b around. And at this point, we can go back to the definition of subtraction and rewrite b plus the negative a as b minus a. So as you can see, we've established a chain of equalities showing that the negative of a minus b is equal to b minus a. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.